like a nice egg. That song has such a catchy melody. That's good. A little, a little bit of hair, you know. Hey, what's Tasty Nation? And Delicious here uh, for some story time, actually. So starting off this weekend on Friday the 11th, I took a trip to meet this guy. Hey, it's me. What's up? And this guy. It's me. You don't really want to know me. And multiple other artists. If you do not know who this is. <laughs> It's freaking BB somehow. And it's called, um. You know that one? You know that song? No, I do. Recording me? Yeah. Well, you should have. He has recently done some awesome work and has inspired me in multiple ways. I became his student and mentee about six months ago. It's probably been longer than that, but I haven't really kept track, honestly. I really lucked out hopping onto a Discord chat. Shout out to tryhards around the world. They were talking about doing a meetup in LA sometime soon. And when I joined, I immediately got asked a question if I was coming. Having no details whatsoever, and without hesitation, I said yes. So once a place was ironed out and dates and times were all set, I was really off before I knew it. Landing in LA the morning of the 11th, I hopped off the plane, got a sandwich, and took an Uber to uh, Julian's place. And when I finally got there, I met the prodigy, the one, the only, the master of arts, sensei, senpai himself, Julian freaking Gray. Hi, I'm Julian. Welcome to my house. It ends up just being so awesome to catch up and write some music together. Even my subpar ideas he considered, and like it totally would have been okay if he just shot me down then and there, right? But the senpai is just too wholesome. Just from a small portion Friday, I learned a massive amount of information. I just kind of sat there most of the time trying to absorb all of it. Uh, it was a lot, but. Later on Friday, we took an Uber to the Airbnb. And once we got there, we hooked up a computer and actually started to DJ and play music on a TV. Yeah, we couldn't use the bass because it would just get really quiet when the uh, bass started to play. Feels bad, man. We did that until we had to leave downtown to uh, Julian's set that he was playing. I forgot the venue's name. Whoops, my bad. I, I'm still salty. I didn't wear a hoodie. More context soon. So by the time Julian's set came around, I was be tired. I was about to pass out. It's a good thing that I got a second wind from him starting to play. At this point, after he's done, it's about 2, 2.15 2 in the morning, and we walk out the doors from where he was playing. We look outside, and... Guys! Hi. Yeah, it was pouring rain. After the run all the way back to the Airbnb, I took it upon myself to finally pass out and get a little bit of rest for the shenanigans that we're gonna go down tomorrow or the next day. The next morning came around at 9.30 to 10 a.m. I would say. Everybody that stayed out last night or the night before woke up pretty hungry, obviously, because the last time we had eaten was before we even made it to the Airbnb. So it was just, <sighs> now that I think about it, it was a really long time since the last time we ate before that. So I was starving. So we corralled a little bit and made our way back out into the rain. I was wearing this, so, so this helped a, quite a bit of the uh, rain coverage, it, it, it helped, I, trust me, trust me. It also wasn't pouring, pouring rain when that, when we left that time. So we made our way to a market and at this market I ended up getting some ramen, uh, PB&J, and I obviously got a coffee. 
I know it. It took me a second to remember, but I know I got a coffee. It's just the fuel. I eat. Eventually, after this, or after getting back to the Airbnb, we, had, we started setting up for the uh, DJ set live stream that we were doing that evening. Um, if you want to see not only my set, but uh, a few of the different guys and people that ended up playing that night on the live stream sets, uh, the link to that is in the description below. So yeah, that night we, we all just jammed out and had an awesome time listening and jamming to music. If you saw the live stream or not, or if you see the video after the live stream, uh, maybe you could tell we were just having a really good time playing tunes and uh, playing our own tunes and seeing how they sound sounded. I didn't get to bed that night again until about 4 a.m. because or you know after 4 a.m. because at 4 a.m. I was passing out on a chair and I woke up to Julian and Alex kind of making fun of me. I don't know if they were actually making fun of me, it's just how I took it. I was like, guys, don't make fun of a guy who's sleeping. Which, joke's on them because, you know what, they went to bed probably 10-15 minutes after I did. <sighs> Rookies. Rookie mistake. Don't make fun of your boy. So, that next morning came around, I didn't really want to get up out of bed. And the bed was a twin size bed. That's saying something because this wasn't very comfortable at all, you know what I'm saying. Cleaning up, uh, taking a couple of those hours to obviously gather all the cords and take the speakers out and down and we made our way out after a few hour long trips in this elevator ride. It's gonna capture this moment forever. Okay. okay. How long does it take? Let's see how long it takes. I'll put a counter on the screen. <laughs> Jesus, that's slow. <laughs> this elevator is sicko mode. It's really bad. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's a guy in the basement with a rope just like yeah. pulling us up like, Ugh. Hey, Jerry! Oh my god. Hi. We made it. Hi. <laughs> it's like a solid. Wait, wait. The door opens, you're still on the first floor. What? I thought you were moving up. 42 seconds. 40. About. seconds. After Sunday morning uh, breakfast, which ended up being at 12 a.m. because of those hour long uh, rides in the elevator, we wound up back at uh, Julian's place where we found Alex, uh, who we knew wasn't feeling so great. But Alex came down with Ligma. Seven octaves down. <coughs> Just rest my eyelids, I'm not asleep. If somebody can find a magical cure for this man, <coughs> he's lost no his cure. life I'm somewhere. He's lost his life somewhere along the line. So if you see that laying around somewhere, we, we, we might want to give it back to him. There's no use, dude. I'm just going to expire. He ended up uh, taking off, actually. Uh, going home because he just didn't feel very good at all and I ended up taking a shower to erase all the ligma juice off of my body So all ligma traces are gone off of me. You don't have to worry I don't think I'm going to die, but I turned the water off in my shower and I heard this voice No ordinary voice, but the heavenly voice of someone someone who does YouTube videos someone who makes mind-blowing sounds out of nothing Stick around and you might see who it is at the end of this video. So I ended up leaving that night back home to where I am now, obviously. I hope that was a nice story. Um, I plan to do more of a vlog type video, but I ended up not getting enough footage. And uh, I thought that this was an okay idea to base something off of. So yeah, this is, this is that video. If you want to see more of a vlog-esque video, it's more of Julian's perspective. He has a awesome video that he uploaded of 
the uh, trip we took. So link to that is also in the description down below. Thank you to everybody who helped me and pushed me to go on this journey. I hope everybody knows that this is just the warm up. Uh, actually heading back here soon, hopefully. I feel truly blessed to have met everybody that made it and everybody's so awesome and genuine and got really lucky with that. So thank you for coming and having a good time with everybody. I hope everybody had as much of a blast as I did. From Replicant who let us use his upload speed off of his hotspot because he had unlimited LTE coverage because the upload speed of the Wi-Fi at the Airbnb was booty all the way to uh, doing the Ricky. Yay! Following that into story two, a little bit shorter of a story, there was a movie I was watching a little while ago, I think it was in December actually, and it was of this lady who was cooking 500-ish some odd recipes within a year, and I ended up popping up out of bed after watching that because I felt inspired and I started writing on a whiteboard and I said 52 songs and there's 52 weeks in a year, or vice versa. Probably 52 weeks and 52 songs in a year. Um, well, it just so happens to be 2019 now, and it's time to start. This weekend, I should have a couple of tunes put up at least on SoundCloud, and after that, uh, very shortly, I will be able to have them on all streaming platforms and places where you listen to music. Follow my Instagram for updates and content and my Twitter for even more content. Hit subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed Storytime with Ann Delicious and or you're just excited for some awesome music coming up from uh, myself. Anyways, this is a good point to uh, state welcome to my road to ultra main stage, baby. It's been Ann Delicious, guys. I hope everybody keeps it tasty, fam. Peace. Beep, beep. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sam World, and this is the end of Ann Delicious Pack. Vlog. Ann Delicious Pack. <laughs> oh, shit.